This is the most explosive offense in Madden 24. You got most. It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And multiple one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So long, suckers! So if you want to see what unstoppable offense I'm using results like this, I'm wide open. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Last week, I put out a full breakdown from a brand new offense in the pistol tight slots, and I was hoping to bring you this offense in a gameplay from one of my league games with 32 subscribers that I just recently made. At the same time, though, my wife started having some serious health concerns that we are still dealing with, forcing me to miss a game against my division rival Cowboys in my own CFM league. League, as we both decided to let this game fair sim and that resulted in my first loss in the last eight games after that though i was lucky to have a bye week so that i could spend more time with my family but because of this i didn't even play a game in almost a week i didn't want to miss any more games after that though so i did my best to try to play my next game against the red hot chiefs but with everything going on it probably wasn't the best time to try to master a new offense as i really didn't have enough time to put into it before the game and the results were disastrous oh! So I wanted to give the Chiefs owner props on his win while also letting you guys know that my mind was and still is in other places right now, and I definitely wasn't seeing the field the way that I normally do. So I'll mark this game down as a stinker and move on. You take you a deuce, you don't you don't sit there and look at it. You flush it and move on. But since this is my job and my job supports my family, I can't take too long away. So I decided that it's best to lab this new offense against some live opponents in regs, just to get some practice and get my game back on point. But there are no easy games online right now, as my first game just so happened to be against a top 5,000 player with a very good record, and he played like it too. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. I started this game out on defense, and I once again be using my 3-3 odd scheme. I already made a full breakdown of the offense and defense that I'll be using in today's video, but I'll mostly be focusing on offense. So if you guys want to see more about the offense and the defense that I'm using, I will have links in the description to the full breakdowns as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I start this game off with a corner blitz that I still haven't made a video about as we get a quick three and out on the first drive to force a punt. The offense that I'll be using in today's video is once again the pistol tight slots and even though I'm using my custom offense it's a small formation and you can mostly find all the same plays in the following playbooks that I have up on screen now as I originally labbed this out of the Cardinals offensive playbook anyways. My best plays for the audibles can change but I typically like to have at least a halfback zone in my audibles for my run play although I start this game out with the counter Y as well as they're both very good. I also try to have the bench switch for dink and dunk plays and the PA post shot as this is a one play touchdown versus every defense in the game. For my fifth and active play I choose the mesh as this is the hardest play to stop in this formation on a down and out basis so I'll probably use this play the most. For my substitution these two routes are the most important so I'll make sure to put my best and fastest receivers here while also putting my fast tight end and Albert O at the tight end position. On the first play, anytime I see a gap where the defensive end is out wide like this, I will switch to the counter Y, as all I have to do is motion across this receiver here to create a bunch concept that will help pave the lane. But you can also see that both the guard and the tight end will pull in this direction as well, giving me basically the entire team blocking for me in the direction of travel, often resulting in big carries as I run the ball just to get to the hash mark. It looks like he's in the cover three though, so I call a hurry up to keep him in it, and I switch to the PA post shot, as it helps to be on the hash mark to the open side of the field for this to work. For the setup, all you have to do is motion out the B receiver and put him on a comeback route to hold the cornerback down and re-block the tight end for better blocking as the Y receiver gets wide open once he crosses the safety. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> On defense, my opponent has a very hard to stop offense as well before I guess pass at the wrong time and he capitalizes on it with a huge run to tie the game. I said, let him come. 
even though his running back was clearly gassed, but guessing pass at the wrong time makes it so it doesn't even matter. And fuck this guy! One of my mistakes against the Chiefs in my last game was that I gave up on the run too fast because this formation doesn't have a stretch run, but I am the type of player that pretty much likes to run first to set up the deep passing game, and this formation has a pretty solid replacement in the halfback zone, which I can run to either side and gain a huge blocking advantage either way by just motioning across any receiver or tight end to create a bunch look like this which will allow me to treat this run like a stretch run, or I can cut it back inside and treat it like an inside zone, as this play is very versatile. I run and sell on the next play as it looks like he's in a cover two man defense, which is weakest up the middle since the safeties drop back after the snap, but I like to take my shots on first down, so all I have to do against cover two man is put the B receiver on a 10 yard out route to pull the safeties apart, and put the Y receiver on a fade to pull the other safety back. But once the play starts, I see that he is using the strong safety, as he tries to cut it off, and I just end up making a play to get inside the red zone, before just running the double drags to the tight end to punch it in and get the lead back. He goes down the field and tries to match on the next play, but the real story of this game is my defense. Gotcha, bitch! As I get the second stop of the game in the form of an interception. My explosive passing game is obviously affecting his play calling as well as he comes out in a smaller defense every time I score a one play touchdown, as he is now in the dime normal, so I'm going to keep pounding the rock right up the middle. I switch over to the counter while on the next play and make the same motion to get my biggest run of the game so far, as this run might be the most explosive, but it's also the riskiest, especially against blitzing defenses as he catches me for a two yard loss in the next play. I try to confuse him with the motion on the next play, but it doesn't work out as he forces me to punt it away on fourth and long, but at least I nail him in with a perfect coffin corner Suck it! with only a minute and 15 seconds left before half and all of his timeouts. I try Henry's A-gap blitz on the next play for the safety too, but he gets off the goal line on the very next play. And one thing that really stood out to me about this guy is how calm and patient he was in every situation as he slowly and methodically worked his way down the field with short passes, mostly to the sideline to get out of bounds and save time, before getting into the end zone with only 20 seconds left. Damn it! I still have all my timeouts too, so I want to maximize every possession and try to score, as I have to throw the ball away on the first play, but when I get back to the huddle, I see that he was in cover for match, and since it worked out for him in the last play, he comes out in the same defense again, not knowing that the PA post shot is a natural one play touchdown with no adjustments against his defense. Break yourself, fool! As we take the lead right back before half. That's just too easy. I get the ball back in the second half too as he tries to steal a possession with an onside kick. How about new? From here a field goal is almost guaranteed with just a few yards so I start to drive with the halfback zone and make my motion once again as it looks like he gets passed this time metal to the metal, then stop. as we quickly extend our lead with my biggest run of the game. Just and he is all passing on offense now as he's played enough games to know the time is running out if he wants to win this game and he is only passing to Stefan Diggs at this point as he rides him all the way down the field before scoring to keep it close. I started the next drive the same way though by making the same motion to seal the edge to get another first down as I now have over 100 yards on just my 8th carry and since I know he's in cover 2 man I decide to make a fake motion on the next play because it allows you to turn this tight end into a wheel route for some reason when you motion him across this formation as the game must read this depth as a running back position or something and look how wide open it gets before I get an out of reach animation. On 3rd and 8 I just go to my double drags play to get the first down as nothing can really stop this setup before I go back to pounding the rock as I'm in no hurry since I have the lead. But I want to try the cover 2 wheel route again so I can get it on tape for the intro's highlight reel and we don't get the same amount of interference but we still drop it in the bucket for a big first down. I pound the rock on the next two plays to get closer to the end zone before I have to go back to the same unstoppable double drags concept. Now late in the fourth, he is as pass happy as ever, as he does his part to keep it a ball game while I was just trying to slow him down. Loud noises! And now it's up to my offense once again as he run blitzes me on the very next play to push me backwards. So now that he's so blitz happy, I decided to go to the post shot as all three of these routes can beat man zero blitz, but he is using the deep route so I just take the crossing check down to keep the chains moving. I run the next play, but when I see that he's not leaving cover zero, I decide to try to get another one play touchdown on tape in the wheel switch, as this play only has one use against cover zero, as all I have to do is motion across the tight end and put him on a wheel route once again, and the other two routes will often set picks the same way as we get the first down before I try to run it again only this time we don't get the same interference as I just let him back into the game when I could just ran the clock out. From here he does the exact same thing he did before halftime as he shows the same calmness and poise making his way down the field with only one time out in his pocket using the sideline to run out of bounds and get every last second out of the clock before he tries to get it all in one play. 
psych! And I make a game-ending interception, only to see Madden bail him out with a phantom P.I. call and set him up at the one-yard line. Kind of a win-win, as I really didn't want him to take all the time out of the clock anyway, before he scores a QB sneak two plays later. Bullshit. But he doesn't want to tie, as he comes out an empty backfield look God damn it! to take a one-point lead with a minute and 21 seconds left, and I only have one timeout. But this is an offensive video anyway, and I start the drive with the double drags, as I like to put the running back on a curl so that he can get wide open if the user chases either one of these drags out of the middle. And he was wide open, but I still forced him to the drag because I wanted to get to the hash mark. This is because the corner out works best from a hash mark to the short side of the field against most zone defenses, as long as you motion across the streaking receiver to pull back the coverages. But he was looking for that, so I take off for Hurts to get the first, only to see that he's using a lot of cover three once again so I go back to the PA post shot and motion out the B receiver for the same one play touchdown that I got on the second play of the game and I also put the tight end on an in route to try to bait him but he doesn't fall for it as he chases the crosser and my only open receiver is the comeback route I go back to the double drags on the next play and I'm in field goal range now but he still has one timeout left to ice me so I want to get closer to make it easier but I don't want to force a bad pass so I just take off with my quarterback once again to set the stage for Jake to make So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's gameplay, I'll have full breakdowns of them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.